to Chinese Kitchen. In today's video is going to be a quick and easy one. I'll be sharing with you how I make my cabbage stew, cabbage chicken stew. If you're going through a weight loss journey, this is ideal for you as you can eat it as a meal without rice or anything, adding anything to it. Just eat it as a meal with your salad on the side if you so wish. If you look down here, you see I have the cabbage here, onions. And I have my pepper to spice it up here. I have my ginger there. And here I have my pepper. I chose the red one or the orange one. This is my chicken breast. I have sliced it this way. No spicy on it. Here I have my garlic. I have my cumin. Turmeric. And the oil I'm going to be using for this, this is coconut oil. And then I have a single cube. So I'm just going to spice up the chicken first. I have tomato puree here. Okay, just to make it a bit saucy. You want to prepare a dish like this, you want to make sure all the ingredients are not too much because you don't want to kill the taste of this food I need to pick this chicken up because I don't want water I'm using the cube So this is done. I'm going to leave it for like 15 minutes for this to marinate properly while I fry up the um the cabbage. Okay. My pan is nicely seated here. Um all I'm going to do is to get some coconut oil. I'm going to put my ginger first. The fresh ginger to infuse a little while the onions is going to go in and now this Pepper is going to go in. So now our cover is going in. What is happening here? If you look, you see this is well cooked. This chicken and pepper stew, or stew, whatever you like to call it, we do not want too much water in it. Halfway cooked, I'm going to take it away from here so that I can cook the chicken. When it's back here, I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil again for the chicken. So now the chicken is going to go in. To get in this tomato puree. The only water going into this food is this from here. Just to make it a bit saucy. And now for this chicken to cook very, very soft. Because we don't want to be eating stone, you know. So guys, as you can see, the chicken is now cooking and the sauce is now infusing in the chicken. So let's give it like five minutes so we can get a soft 
chicken, okay? As looking down here, you see how much this has uh, cooked. You can see that. No doubt this is going to be a yummy cabbage stew. The cabbage is going in now. There's no better way to enjoy your cabbage stew. Tomato is healthy. Everything here is healthy. You can eat this with rice, plantain, couscous. So guys, this is your perfect cabbage stew. Cabbage stew with chicken. Thank you for watching from Swiss Kitchen. Bye.